Hi guys! As part of my pattern drafting for beginners series, I will be showing you how to draft sleeves and adjust them to fit into armholes. I would love it if you could give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. You will need the following measurements. I prefer measuring my hand circumference instead of my wrists, that way I can get my hands into the sleeves without having to add buttons. You should also measure loosely around your biceps. Start by drawing a vertical line equal to your arm length. Measure down and mark your cap height from point A on the line. Cap heights can be shortened and lengthened depending on the style of the sleeve, but as a default, you can measure your armhole depth and use that value. Center your bicep circumference at point C, then draw across your measurement. Do the same for your hand circumference at point B. Divide your bicep circumference by six, and split your bicep line into six equal sections, like I am doing here. Mark each of the six points with a letter, from D to I. Then draw vertical lines upwards from points E, F, G and H. Draw diagonal lines from point D to point A and from point I to point A. Mark a point on line E, three quarters of an inch below the diagonal line. Mark a point on line F, three quarters of an inch above the diagonal line. Mark a point on line G, one inch above the diagonal line. Mark the point where the diagonal line crosses line H. Draw a curve that passes through all the points from D to I. Join up points D and I to the bottom of the sleeve. The left hand side will be the front half of the sleeve and the right hand side will be the back. To check if your sleeves will fit the armhole, I'll show you a technique called walking the sleeve. As you can see I have my seam allowance on my bodice but not on my sleeve, so I'll be walking around the inner line of the armhole. I am gently moving the front section of the sleeve cap around the armhole of the front bodice. I'm using my finger to pivot it around the curve until it reaches the end. As you can see, the front section of my sleeve is a lot shorter than the armhole, so I'll need to make it longer. On the back bodice, I will also walk the back section of the sleeve around the armhole. Again, the back section of the sleeve is too short. There are two ways to adjust the length of the sleeve cap. One way is by changing the cap height and the other way is by adjusting the bicep circumference. I'll show you first how to adjust the cap height. Cut down the centre of the sleeve cap down to the bicep line. Then cut to the ends of the bicep line but not through it. If you want to make the sleeve cap length longer, then spread the two cap pieces out like this. If you want to make it shorter, then close them in like this. Since I need mine to be longer, I will spread it out. On a sheet of paper, I will now trace around my sleeve and my extended sleeve cap. Smooth out the gaps with a French curve. As you can see, the cap height is now longer and the length has been increased. I will now show you how to adjust the cap length by adjusting the bicep circumference. You will start by cutting all the way down the center of your sleeve, right to the bottom but not through it. So I've just accidentally ripped my pieces apart, so if this does happen to you, all you need is a bit of tape to stick it back together. To increase the cap length, spread the pieces apart like this. And to reduce it, bring them in like this. Since I need my cap length to be longer, I will spread my pieces apart like this. Trace around your sleeve. As you can see, the bicep circumference is much longer now and the cap length has been increased. I would like to use this sleeve as my final pattern, but first I would need to check if it would fit the armhole of my bodice.
After I cut out the sleeve, I will need to split it in half into its front and back sections. Once again, I'm going to walk the sleeve over the armholes of my front and back bodice pieces. As you can see, there is a little bit of the sleeve left over, which is fine as this will disappear as ease once sewn in. On the back, the sleeve fits in perfectly. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.